Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Hey, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper coming to you from the job site. Remove and replace a sheet of wallpaper. Yeah, it's a bummer, but if you do it right, it's as easy as one, two, three. Let's get to it. So you take down the sheet of wallpaper and you try to make the edge as straight as possible. You can do it with a laser line or you can do it by eye, okay? And after you remove it, you might, not always, but you might experience some drywall damage. Take your drywall sander with 80 grit and make it smooth in one minute. One minute. Make it smooth, get it ready for the new sheet of wallpaper. What do we gotta do here? You gotta seal that. That's all we gotta do. You just gotta seal it. Okay, so let's do that. What is Spencer Colgan's choice to seal this type of issue. You can use this, but you might have a problem with this. You want to get out of this job? Kills Original. K-I-L-Z Original. Oil-based primer. This product gave me trouble over previously pasted substrates. I just did a large commercial project in which I put Roman 999 RX35 over a wallpaper removal job and it blistered in various places. I felt like taking this and throwing it out the window. Oil-based primer, let's get to it. Okay. mask off your area just get to it let's get this stuff on the wall don't worry about any clinkers just get it on the wall what are clinkers right there let's get it as close to that as you can even just get it right on the edge of the wall covering you're going to be trimming it anyway okay we want to do it fast, right? You're sealing this, folks. There's paste on this. On the surface. That RX35 cost me a lot of time on the last job. Roman would like to have you think that they have the go-to product, but I got to tell you, <clears throat> everything's getting earth friendly today. And I must tell you, if you want it, let's say you didn't know you were rolling the dice, you removed wallpaper and your walls are a disaster. If you want the number one solution to the problem, oil based kills. Okay, tell the boss, tell the homeowner, it's gonna smell, but if you want it done right, kills, original. If you go with RX35, you're rolling the dice, my opinion. I, it happened to me, I rolled the dice and I lost the bet. It didn't work. After your oil dries, give it an hour or so. Take your brand new Ranky sanding pole, all steel, nothing cheap here, with a head that doesn't flip. When you sand, either way, it's not gonna flip on you, 
okay, with your coarse sandpaper because you want to get these things off. Okay, my oil is dry. I sanded it down. There's no need to skim coat. If you have a need to skim coat, then do so. So now we're going to put the wallpaper, wall covering on, the, our vinyl, right up to about two inches past this line. Here's the most important thing to remember. The least amount of this area you trim, you cut, the more easily it will come off. If you try to cut it all the way back to here, that's gonna pull the wall with it because it's only recently applied within the last 30 hours. So if you pull a Band-Aid strip, literally like an inch, it's gonna come right off, not even take the wall. The more wall covering you take off of the wall, the more suction you're putting on the wall, pulling off the top layer of finish, primer, etc. Okay? All right, let's get going. You're going to put your, your level to make sure your, the edge of your patch piece is plumb. Now, the next most important thing is to make sure you have enough wall covering under this. You don't want to be cutting this and then realize you got nothing underneath it. Okay? So if you have a laser level, put a laser level against this line before you put this piece on. This way, when you flap your new sheet over, you'll have a laser line telling you where your last piece underneath ends, okay? Now, let's trim it. Okay, so now, the last step is going to be cutting through my replacement piece and the piece underneath. My edge is straight. You saw that with the level. One of my buddies on YouTube, Capo Wacko, the man is, he's like the man. He uh, always makes informative, edifying comments on my videos. He suggested that I double cut with this. And uh, the man knows his stuff. Now I would just say to you, my brother, Capo Wacko, this, my cutter, I know you don't use my cutter, but it has interfered with this edge. You see how the yellow thing is touching the edge here? I don't like it, it moves my blade. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, I'm going to use it. Okay, so I'll put the camera behind me. And let's do that. Okay. My position is not that great. Because this, this thing is in the way. So what I think I'll do, put the ladder over here. you'll be able to see the cut. see where we left off. This is not ideal, hanging over 
a counter. I would stand on it, but it's not going to support me. You see, Capo, I don't like using this because on the bottom of the cut, it moved on me. So, I don't like using it. I bought it, I thought I'd like it, brother. I don't like it. What do you have to say about that? Capo is one of my friends who gives great advice. But every guy has his, his favorite stuff, you know, his favorite method. I just wanted to show him that I had the tool, and um, I'm not crazy about it. Okay, so, now, let's get this piece off. Pulling it in a certain way to try to eliminate a problem underneath it. So let's see how I did. Let's go up close. That's my cut. Every time I wipe this type of vinyl down, I get a microfiber cloth because, oh boy, is it hard to remove paste when it dries. Okay, there's my piece. So, I would not use this tool. You know what? I would like this tool if it were only 12 inches above here and 12 inches below its counterpart that you see in the camera. Not this long metal. It moves when you're cutting. I don't like it. So, what would I use? Well, I would use what I always use. Okay, so that's how I do it. And um, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat, but I have to tell you something. Your biggest challenge when you do this is going to keep the wall intact underneath the repair when you take off the old sheet. Especially if you just did the job and you go through your punch and you find you don't like something, you wanna take it off. Remember, this stuff takes a long time to dry. Cure, I should say cure. You know, commercial vinyl is like putting saran wrap around cold cuts and sticking it in the fridge. It keeps it fresh a long time. And so if you go to take this off, you can expect that the wall may come down with it. And if it does, I hope that I shared with you the best remedy, the quickest remedy to overcome the challenge that you face when you take down the wall covering and some of the plaster, some of the paint, some of the skin of the sheetrock comes with it. Thanks for watching my channel. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan's Wallpaper.